how to change Citroen C1 rear brake cylinder. We've got a Citroen C1 rear brake binding. I've just taken the car for an MOT and although we achieved a pass, this brake was binding when it was tested on the rollers. It was free by the time we put it up on the ramps and the guy was doing it manually. So uh, he gave us an advisory on it, which I think was very fair of him because it was very borderline pass or fail. I've determined that it's a piston seized in the wheel cylinder on the left brake. So I've got a new one. I've done a video on how I determined that. I'll link to it in the description. But this video is to show you how to change it. With the car safely supported in the air, remove the wheel and the rear drum on the affected side. I have already shown you how to do this in a video detailing how to change the brake shoes, but I'll link to that in the description. And make sure that the handbrake is off. And if there's a lot of dust in the brake, use brake cleaner to rinse it away into a suitable container. Don't just let it run across the floor. Don't brush it away, you'll just brush the dust into the air and you might end up breathing it in. And make sure to fit a good quality brake hose clamp to the brake hose. On the rear side of the back plate at the top, find where the bleed nipple is, the brake pipe in its uh, union and the screw that holds the wheel cylinder into place. And with a small steel wire brush, give a good wire brushing, particularly around the pipe union to get rid of uh, as much dirt and corrosion as possible and make it as easy as possible to undo this. Then generously apply some penetrating spray around the pipe union and the screw that holds it in and go and have yourself a cup of tea while you wait for that to soak. With a good quality 10 millimeter open-ended spanner or a brake union spanner if you've got one or don't mind buying one, make sure to get good purchase on the brake union connection and undo it in the conventional right hand thread direction. Righty tighty lefty loosey. With an 8mm deep socket or spanner loosen and remove the bleed nipple to give yourself a bit more purchase room. When you've got it undone don't go bending the pipe too far away from the back of the cylinder. And with a 10mm socket undo the screw that holds the cylinder into place and remove the screw. Don't lose it, can't guarantee that the new one comes with a screw. If you're really lucky the cylinder may come loose but chances are you'll need to give it a little knock, perhaps with the back end of a screwdriver, just to loosen it off and very carefully withdraw it. The shoes should stay exactly in place because the self-adjuster holds them apart against these springs. You can actually see a little white corrosion of the Mazak casting that forms the uh, main housing of the cylinder. So I'm gonna clean this up with a wire brush and then I'm gonna put a very light smear of silicone grease on there before putting the new one on. Only a very light smear. Again, wash away any dust you create with brake cleaner. Don't blow it. There's probably brake dust in it and you don't wanna be breathing that in. Also give your screw a little clean up with your wire brush. If you want to replace it, it's an M6 by 10. And sure enough, yes, it was the cylinder that was seized. I can remove the piston on one side, but not on the other. Even getting a screwdriver under there doesn't seem to help much. So my diagnosis was correct. That's scrap metal now. A few precautions to observe when putting the new one back on. Remove the bleed nipple put that in afterwards. Remove the bung in the new one that comes in the uh, brake pipe union hole. Carefully slot, slot it back into place. Put the securing screw in first and gently position the pipe into the hole and start the uh, union nut by hand for at least the first couple of turns if you can and then tighten down. Good opportunity while you're here if you can get a little bit of emery cloth and just clean the little section of exposed pipe just here as they do have a tendency to rust because the pipes are steel and return your bleed nipple. If you feel there's any danger that you might have got any dirt or grease on the end of your pipe before you put it back in the cylinder, then give the end of the pipe a little spray with brake cleaner, but make sure to allow it to dry off thoroughly before you put it back into place. Return your drum to position, not forgetting to line up the uh, hole for the securing screw. And of course, put the securing screw back in just a light hand tight. From your old cylinder, rescue the uh, little cap that came off the bleed nipple. You'll probably need that for the new one. Make sure to remove your brake hose clamp. And then don't forget, before you put the wheel back on, to bleed this brake. A few pumps should be all it takes. Also, make sure that it's free to move and that you haven't accidentally wound up the uh, adjuster. If you got value from this video, consider supporting the channel in some way, and I shall see you next time.